the big challenge today is tax and digital or tax and digitalization. Because in 2015, there was agreement uh, on Action 1 report that we could not ring fence a tax solution for digital because every, everything is digitalizing. But at that time, there was no agreement. Since then, big progress has been made. And today, there are a number of proposals to address the tax challenges of the digitalization of the economy. Pillar 1 is about a new nexus. When can you start taxing a company? In the previous world, it was about physical presence. It's about a fixed place of business, a permanent establishment. Today, you may not need a permanent establishment to do massive business in a jurisdiction. How do we need to reinvent the nexus? But if you reinvent the nexus, how much profit will you allocate to these markets? Everybody wants to discuss this. That's pillar one. And a number of countries also proposed a pillar two, which would be kind of putting in place a minimum tax. It's not about asking countries to have a minimum tax, but to protect oneself from profit shifting to a zero or low tax jurisdiction. There is a commitment to look for a solution by the end of 2020, and in particular, a commitment to develop a program of work which should lead us to probably a global revamp of international tax rules by the end of 2020. This year we, we have you know, a presidency for G20 and uh, this is one of the most important uh, you know, issues under Japanese uh, presidency's uh, priorities. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we are supposed to complete this exercise by 2020, uh, but uh, we are under pressure uh, to expedite uh, this discussion on digital taxation as uh, quickly as possible. Uh, so we uh, uh, really uh, have to be sure that you know, uh, it, it should be really consensus-based, but necessary professional input uh, is expected from OECD and G20.